Okay, hello YouTube. This is a video on how to make iron oxide. I have a battery pack here, four AA batteries, on an off switch. Now what I have done here is I have these wires with alligator clips in them hooked up to the battery pack. I have these ones running to here. I have one hooked up to this steel bolt, which is bolt, which is just hanging into the water there. Now this one fully submerged, which would be the negative as you can tell by the black wire bubbling a lot. Now what's that doing? That's rusting that a lot. And the longer it stays in, it will, there will be rust and all the particles coming off it. Then this water will start turning green, and then you have a nice thick layer of green mush at the top, which is what will be your iron oxide, which you can use for painting, making the paint darker. Or you can use it to add pigments which is basically the same thing, or you can use it to make thermite, which you make thermite by mixing aluminum powder and iron oxide. I'll be having a video on how to do that shortly after I collect enough iron oxide and aluminum powder. And I'll also have a follow-up video on this later of how to separate this from the water and add it to the um, uh, aluminum powder. And I'll let this sit here for a while, and I'll come back.
What are you doing there? Hmm? What are you doing there? Make hey, a... Bill. Yeah, didn't have uh, any luck down there. He said they're they're hard to come by. He said uh, he gets them now and again, but uh, he's got one compressor guy. He usually takes them as soon as he gets them. But. Uh, Uh, I don't know, like, uh, it's, you were saying two to three horse, right? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I got a few more guys I'm going to check with in that. Uh, it's got to be a 220 though, does it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you remember that motor? I don't know if you still got it or not. But uh, remember that guy? Remember with the rotisserie one? That was a good motor, and that like that was a good. Uh, it was only a, a one like a one ten volt, but it was a fairly heavy, heavy motor. You know, you know something to get him up and running for now, kind of thing, so you could have a bit of time to look, kind of thing. But. Uh, Well, your motor, you can just plug in. Yeah, that's not a big deal to do that, but uh, I'll keep looking anyways. I know a couple, I'll even check with the Collingwood shop there. I know they got a couple of compressors up there. So you never know, it could be kind of something kicking around there. Right? You remember how big on the, like, round it looked? Was it like a real big motor? Or? All right, well, I'll see Ross tomorrow anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you bought one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You never looked on Kijiji at all, eh? Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a peek and, uh, yeah. A lot of that stuff around. Even, you may even pick up an old compressor, but the uh, compressor gone and the motor's still good, right? But, uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll have a look too, anyways, anyway. All right, Bill. Talk to you soon. Bye. Making iron oxide. Yeah. And that's supposed to be the stuff to cut through stuff, or no? Yeah, it mixes with aluminum powder. And I won't cut through a plastic can. Hmm? I won't cut through a cut plastic. No, because it's just iron oxide. Rust. Yeah. So what do you I'm just making iron like I'm just So what do you got in there? Just these. So what's in there now? Water and salt. Yeah. Hooked up to two batteries. It just speeds up the oxidization product process by like 10 billion.